Now that we're working with verbs and you guys kind of understand a little bit, we're gonna dive deeper into each machine and we're gonna start with sweeten. You can see that sweeten is gloss and warmth of a studio tape machine, can be gently overdriven. Check it out in the mix. For whatever reason, how it's reacting in the track with the with the warble effect is giving so much life to the section. This is awesome and it makes the track more interesting. Okay, we're moving on to Edge now. We're gonna talk about this machine and it's modeled after a preamp. Adding gentle harmonics to give your sound subtle crunch. So I'm gonna use it on an 808. So it's giving my 808 a subtle crunch. It's giving it some nice harmonics around there. Nothing too crazy like we saw in the warble. But what I love ab about the uh, small adjustments of, of the drive and the tone, it allows the 808 to pop out in the mix more. And when you're listening on smaller speakers, it'll really cut through more because it's adding the high end harmonics of a bass, which is typically low end. So it gets a check mark. It's A-OK -okay with me. Moving on to the next machine. Let's talk about Glow. We have our trusty drive and tone knob. I decided I wanted to put on my snare because my snare was a little bright and I wanted to darken it a little bit and warm it up a tad. A little tone. Let's take it off. Let's hear it in the mix. I really like the glow. It kind of lo-fied out the snare, took out the high end, made the low end warmer, kind of made the snare feel alive. It sounds like it fits in the mix more. I'm into it. Okay guys, let's check out Warm, which is the warmer sound of a more vintage studio tape machine. We have the drive and the warble. I'm gonna put this on the master bus. lead me down a whole other direction, bring me to a new idea. Um, it's sick, it's cool. I wanted to show you guys Thicken. Thicken is the sound of something that was recorded a long time ago, over half a century ago. So it's gonna give us that old flavor, but at the same time, it's gonna add some harmonics as well. Definitely sounds like it was recorded a while ago. I love the saturation, I love the harmonics, I love the distortion. I love that I can still feel the low end, but at the same time, get some crispiness and some pretty harmonics happening around here for me. Okay guys, let's check out Vintage Eyes. It is the sound of a recording that's older than your grandparents. Without. So the warble present again, the drive present. 
It definitely sounds older. It still has the harmonic distortion. It still has the gooiness. It feels pretty, if you will. So we had glow on the 808, and that was really cool because it was able to punch through the mix in a really cool way. But the cool thing about Verve is that they have other machines that you can try. And I'm really curious to see what the distortion on the 808 sounds like. So without further ado, let us listen to the 808 with distortion. Pretty cool. As the info says, it's pushing a vintage tube preamp far past its limits and you can hear it roar. So this is definitely giving us some high-end harmonics. It's some warm analog distortion. It sounds really awesome. The question is now, how does it sound in the mix? Let's check it out. Crazy. It has more of an alive feel. You can hear more harmonics on the high end. The low end isn't compromised and it sits in the track a lot better. So guess I'm distorting my 808 now. So here we are in overdrive. I want to audition what it sounds like to push a vintage tape machine far past its limits and hear it roar. Let's check it out. Well, it's super cool. It already sounds really dope. Let's hear it in context. So I like how the overdrive sounds on this drum loop. To me, it sounds like the distortion is breathing, it's alive, it's coming through, it's cutting through the mix once I adjusted the gain and raised it in the mix. And it adds so much more character to the drums than without. So I'm gonna be keeping overdrive on it. It just really does sound like a vintage tape machine distorting like crazy. All right, we're gonna check out Fire now, one of the machines. This pushes tape far past its limit and hear it roar. Without further ado, let's check out Fire on a vocal. I'm gonna isolate the vocal without Fire on it. Purple under blue skies, well I'm fucking sick of it. And with? Purple under blue skies, well I'm fucking sick of it. I mean, do I need to say anything else? We, I don't really need to say anything else, right? Like we get it. It's distortion like crazy, wahoo, wow. Okay. Well, I like this so we could kill time I take myself low just to feel high Miserable under blue skies Well, I'm fucking sick of it I mean, it's perfect. I love distortion. For all of you that don't know me, I love distortion. It's a warm distortion. The harmonics are pushed. It feels great. It's not overbearing. Um, I think it's doing the trick perfectly to the vocal. Well, I shouldn't have a favorite because I am pleased with all of them, but Sputter, because I love distortion so much, Sputter's literally obliterating the sound in the best way possible. And I thought as an example, we could do something that's already super distorted. I am distorting the crap out of the synth already. And I wanna show you guys what it's like, cause I didn't think it could get even more obliterated, but it can, so let's check it out. Here is the synth without sputter. Now with sputter. Okay, without. with
It's breaking up in a way where there's it's fluttering like this, which is crazy. I mean, I feel like it's like the monster from Stranger Things is coming out to get you. Want to come? I want to thank the guys at Universal Audio for having me and for letting me talk to you about their new plugin. Have fun with it. It's an awesome tool. Um, and here's to happy tracks.